Welcome to Learnpedia, the 24 bar 7 JE and NEET resource at your fingertips. Let's see if you can answer this important question. If you think you got the answer, post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch the full video. Magnetic Resonance Imaging, also known as MRI. This particular imaging technique was described independently by two different scientists. They were Felix Bloch and Edward Purcell in the year 1946. And these two scientists have received Nobel Prize in the year 1952 for their works. Though these two scientists had described about magnetic resonance imaging, but its medical use was reported by Raymond Damadian. The magnetic resonance imaging, it utilizes the concept of magnetism along with the use of radio waves and using these the images of the body components are produced and there is no use of any kind of radioactive components so it's a very safe procedure the magnetic resonance imaging or the mri it relies on the phenomenon that is nmr nmr the full form of it is nuclear magnetic resonance so from the name itself you can guess that it has something to do with the nuclear here the nuclei which have unpaid electrons. So this is based on the fact that certain nuclei which have unpaid electrons, they behave like tiny magnets. One particular example that I like to give here is of the hydrogen nuclei. This hydrogen nuclei, it is particularly suitable for this kind of imaging technique because as we know 75% of a body is made up of water. Now hydrogen is part of the water molecule. So that is why hydrogen nuclei is suitable for this particular technique. The unbalanced nuclei of the hydrogen, it creates a small magnetic field around itself known as the magnetic moment. As such, the human body does not have any kind of magnetic field. This is because the overall magnetic moments that are present within the body, they oppose each other and they produce a neutral magnetic field. So this particular technique actually exploits the natural behavior of protons of the hydrogen atoms when they are subjected to a very strong magnetic field. Let us see an image of the MRI scanning machine. The MRI machine has a giant circular magnetic tube and the patient actually lies down on a movable bed and surrounding the patient are several coils. They would include the radio frequency coils. So these small structures you can see. This is the RF coils. Now outer to this RF coil is the gradient coils. So this thin line, if you can observe, this is the gradient coil. And finally, surrounded by the primary magnet. So all these coils as well as the magnet are present on 360 degrees. On all sides it's present. Now suppose if the patient is lying here. Surrounding the patient you have the RF coil. And surrounding this RF coil is the gradient coil. And surrounding this gradient coil is the primary magnetic field. So this was regarding the MRI machine. As I previously mentioned, the body is made up of hydrogen atoms. Now suppose these are the protons that are present and these protons actually spin on its side. Now it can spin in two ways. One is either spin up or other one is the spin down. And because there is no external magnetic field, the energy of these two spins, they are same. And hence you have a neutral magnetic field. In the human body. So let's just assume that at this point of time there is no external magnetic field is present. The next step would be to switch on the magnetic field. When the magnet is on, it produces a strong magnetic field and because of which these protons they actually align in the direction of the magnetic field. Now if this is the scanner, this is the direction of the magnetic field. So all the protons that are present now they align in the direction of the magnetic field. So they are now parallel to the magnetic field. So you see the difference between the normal condition when there is no magnetic field and when an external magnetic field is supplied to the protons. This is the magnetic field and these are the protons. These are the radio frequency waves. When it is turned on, the protons would absorb some of the energy and they would align in a different direction. So this direction may be either 90 degrees or 180 degrees from the equilibrium state. From this particular state, it either moves 90 degrees or 180 degrees. So this is how the direction will change. So based on that, after the introduction of the radio waves, all the protons, now they are aligned in the opposite manner. Now when they move to a new direction, the 
radio frequency waves are turned off. The nuclei will return back to their equilibrium state that is the direction in which they were spinning when there was the external magnetic field only. So this will be the new direction. So the protons will be back to their equilibrium state. Now as the protons return from this particular state to this state they would release certain energy. Now this energy would be released only at a particular radio frequency and all the protons that are present they would return to the original equilibrium state at relaxation time. So different tissues they would emit different energy and also at different wavelengths at different rates. Based on the composition of the particular tissue, all these things would be in varied condition. Now as a result of this difference that is present in the composition of the tissues, the tissues or the structures present in the body might appear differently. And because of the difference in the water content, there is a contrast between different tissues that are present close to each other. So basically the MRI detects the water and it focuses on the behavior of the hydrogen atom in the water molecule and it helps to distinguish between the water rich and the water poor tissues. So the teeth, bone, these are water poor tissues. They would have more of calcium. So whenever tissues which are surrounded by bone like the spinal cord or the brain, these are more easily observable in the MRI scan and also that there is a contrast between different tissues. So here is an MRI scan of the brain and it helps us to detect any kind of abnormalities within the body structures that we are trying to scan. The MRI scan would actually detect tiny lesions in the brain or in spinal tissues and it also detects small cancerous tumors because the radio frequency absorbed by the pathological cells it is different from that of the healthy cells and in some conditions we use the contrast agents and the contrast agent that is used here is gadolinium. So this is the contrast agent that is used in MRI. As usual the contrast agents are used to increase the resolution of the image accuracy. So let us see the advantages and the disadvantages of MRI. What are the advantages of the MRI over the CT scan? One thing is that it can produce sectional images in any plane for any kind of body part. Whereas the CT scan it is mostly restricted to cross sectional images and the MRI it is more sensitive to grey and the white matter and there is no use of any kind of ionizing radiation. So it does not cause any kind of health hazard. Now let us see the disadvantages. It is an expensive machine and as I had mentioned that it helps differentiate the water rich and the water poor tissues. It's able to show us the contrast between tissues which have water content. So what about the tissues which do not have that much water? So no image for bones and teeth. So we will not be able to detect any kind of problem that would be related to the bones and teeth. And since we use the magnetic fields and the radio waves, it is not suitable for patients who use cardiac pacemakers or any kind of implants. So this MRI would actually hinder with the use of these instruments. Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here's the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JEE and NEAT prep tools contain more than 4000 videos and over 20,000 solved examples. These can be accessed online through our website or offline through an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also experience a free demo of our product before buying.